Take a dose of political satire, mix in a dash of musical theater, add some colorful commentary, and next on our horizon, comedian Randy Rainbow. Here's Rita Braver. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Randy Rainbow! The fans who flock to see Randy Rainbow's shows Hey girl are here because they found comic relief from the past few years of politics and pandemic. You got through it, because of me. By watching his satirical videos. How do you solve a problem like Korea? Often skewering. No, I grew up in okay, uh, let's cut the conservative political figures. Because alternative facts are facts that aren't facts just. Be I never shut up. Best, just be best. Editions, edition. huh? Look it up. They've made him a social media sensation with hundreds of millions of views. But even his most ardent admirers may not know the real and improbable Randy Rainbow story. Just, just for starters, your name really is Randy Rainbow. Rita? I swear to God, it's my name. I know it sounds like the corniest stage name that you could choose. I would not do that to myself. It is on but my birth certificate. It stood you in good stead. But I had to grow into it. I had no choice. Once I was a no one, now I'm hashtag blessed. Now 40, he grew up first on Long Island, then in Florida and credits his mother's love of musicals with his encyclopedic knowledge of show tunes. At age eight, he staged a backyard production of Disney's Snow White, starring himself. My mother made me a skirt, and I, I did this whole, you know, tour de force for the neighborhood. And how they like it? They were very supportive and, and loved it. I don't know what the conversations were on the way home. And it's really, you know, a testament to my mother for not ever making me second guess my decision to do that. <laughs> he tells it all in his new memoir. It's a portrait of a lonely, awkward kid who found solace doing children's theater. I was chubby and effeminate and I didn't really fit in. And so I, it was a field day for the, for the bullies at school. What do you I'm like just... about living here? I mean, everything. A few years after high school, Rainbow moved to New York. But too insecure to even go on auditions, he worked a series of odd jobs until he hit on the idea of making comic videos. One of the first, <clears throat> using an infamous leaked audio tape of actor Mel Gibson being abusive to his girlfriend. How dare you act like such a his rants were anti-Semitic and homophobic, and I happened to be a gay Jew, I said, I'll date him. I walked around my apartment having romantic phone <laughs> conversations with his disgusting tirades. You're a pain in my ass. You're a pain in my ass. Stop being that. You stop being that. His videos went viral. Hit, no. Oh, God. And eventually, Rainbow hit on the idea of spoofing the news. She was rebelling. Now she's a felon. Inserting himself as a know-it-all reporter. And welcome back to the first presidential debate. Into actual events. Which I have a great company. I have a tremendous income. And the reason I say that is not in a braggadocious way. It's because... Braggadocious? Is that even a word? I don't know, maybe. Well, who knows? And then breaking into parodies of favorite songs. He super callous, fragile, egocentric, braggadocious, likes to throw big words around and hopes that we all notice. That was the mega colossal uh, breakthrough video that got like 16 million views in the first day. So 16 Donald, million. 16 million. 16 million. So that was a game changer for me. Two million, a hundred, two thousand, four hundred million. He kept going all through the Trump presidency. Joe. Can I call you Joe? No. Into the Biden era. I'm so tired of quarantine. Mr. Biden, bring my vaccine. You're 
recently Rainbow signed. not only plays all the parts, he handles his own wardrobe. For example, this is a, a nurse, uh, is a go-to for me these days. But really, frankly, they're just slutty Halloween costumes, I have to be honest with you. It all happens in his home studio. MGM Studios. A spare bedroom. Are you sitting behind a desk when you do those no, interviews? No, there's nothing. It's just this. It's and this. frankly, I'm often not wearing pants. I put on <laughs> pants because you're here, Rita. We got to watch him in action as he created his latest video. Here's the tea. I almost said it again. Then for the end... See Taking on Florida Governor Ron DeSantis's law that bans discussion of sexual orientation with young children in classrooms. Some badge that I wear with a fabulous flag Cause I'm gay, 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 gay. The so-called don't say gay law. <gasps> you say you don't think of yourself as really being political. I know, people are surprised when I say that. It's never my intention or primary objective to make a political statement. I'm trying only to be amusing first and foremost, but I'm poking fun at everybody, uh, all sides and opinions, including my own. Clang, 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 with Josh Holly. There has been some talk that you may take this show that you've had on the road and bring it to Broadway. We're talking about it. Could you imagine that story? I mean, this schmuck in wigs <laughs> in his living room making videos, winding up on a Broadway stage. I hope, I hope, I hope that it's, uh, it's coming. It sounds like a happy ending to me. Sounds good to me. <laughs>